Hello everyone and welcome back to plotting in real time. In this exercise we are going to solve for speed and course changes. Now we are using the same plot as first time. All of the numbers, ranges, and bearings are the same. After figuring out if we are the stand-on or giveaway vessel, if that risk of collision does exist, we now have to recall how we can avoid collision in accordance with the rules of the road. In this plot, we are going to turn to starboard. Again, don't forget to draw your little boats on the actual plot themselves to help you figure out which rules apply. So first you want to find your MX. MX stands for maneuvering point. This is where you are going to have the basis of your maneuver. If your MX is not given to you, you can use the same time interval from your triangle and extrapolate where your next point would be on your relative motion line. For example, a six minute plot with two ranges and bearings at 12 o'clock and 12.06, your MX would be 12.12. Additionally, a 12 minute plot, which is what I am using with R at 1200 and M at 1212, your MX would be 1224. If MX is given to you as a time, you could use your relative motion speed and 60D Street to actually plot your MX. For this exercise, we were given a MX of 1224. Another way to do quick math is the same distance from R to M with 12 minutes will be the same from M to MX with the same time interval, 12 minutes. So we've plotted MX. Now you want to find your minimum CPA allowed. This is normally what your captain has written in standing orders or night orders. Our imaginary captain has given us a minimum CPA of two nautical miles. So that is that first range ring or circle on your radar transfer plotting sheet with a 12 nautical mile range scale. Next, we are drawing our new RML from MX to your CPA range. So using that MX point to go just outside or on the two nautical mile range, we are able to create our new relative motion line. Now, this will maintain that CPA of a two nautical mile minimum as per our captain's standing orders. Now again, this is their new relative motion compared to us when we are doing our course or speed change. Now you wanna bring this RML line, your new one, to your last plotted M in your triangle. We are going to draw the reciprocal course backwards from M. Make sure you extend that line pretty decently. Okay, now we have our new relative motion line from their MX and extrapolated backwards from their M. Now it is time to find our course change. Remember, we are only changing our course if we are doing a course change. We are going to take the distance from E to R that will remain the same, and we will use our dividers to change the direction of E to R. You are going to swing the original E to R distance onto that new RML from E. Again, so that is the same distance from E to R, ergo it is the same speed it is just a new course. 
You can circle it as I did or just have a hash mark on it. I did a circle to make it more visible for you. Now we will draw a line from our E to our new R and get that actual course between E to R. Remember, we are ER, not R to E. Make sure you're going in the right direction when you are actually getting your course. Now, again, always make sure you have sturdy hands. I bumped my triangle a little bit there, so I'm doing it again in order to get a more accurate measurement. Following that line, I got 0, 7, 1 degrees as our new course for us to steer to maintain that 2 nautical mile CPA. That is how you find your course change to avoid collision. Remember, E to R. And you keep that same distance between E to R, just switch around the course. Now it is time to find a speed change to avoid collision and maintain a two nautical mile CPA. So again, for speed change, our course will stay the same on our original E to R line. What you are looking for is to see where your new relative motion line intercepts your original ER line. That interception point is your new R. You can measure this distance from E for your new speed. I measured one nautical mile. We can use 60 D Street with one nautical mile and we will get five knots for a 12 minute plot, finding the speed, knowing the distance. We receive five knots from that formula. That is the new speed that we need to steer in order to avoid collision and keep that two nautical mile CPA. And that is how you solve for a speed or course change on a radar transfer plotting sheet. In real life, you would maneuver your vessel at your MX maneuvering point once you find this information.